Every relationship is never a relationship that you can color with one color. There may be something else there going on. In this case, it's about love. Hi, I'm Luca Guadagnino, and I'm here to break down a scene from my movie Suspiria. Hi. Hi. This scene is uh, uh, Madame Hi. Blanc, played by Tilda Swinton, Hi. tries to educate Hi. Susie, played by Dakota Johnson, Hi. in order to make Hi. better jumps so that she can Hi. then play Hi. the leading role in Hi. the dance folk. Higher! 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 When you dance, the dance of another. Now, I pause because the scene opens with a very swift pan. The point is that this was conceived as a long shot and uh, what happens always with my very beloved editor, Walter Fasano, I come to the editing room with all the expectations and the ambitions of these long shots and then he cuts them for me. So this was already a cut, no, anyway. You make yourself in the image of its creator. You empty yourself so that her work can live within you. Do you understand? This is a scene that happens in a specific room, which is the room of the mirrors, as you, as you can see. For me, it was clear that we had to experience the reflections in the room without visual effect. We actually shoot them in front of a real mirrors and we digitally remove the camera. That's the illusion we created here. But I had many people in, uh, trying to convince me to have the full CGI thing there and I just didn't want to do it. I don't, I'm a no bullshit person, I hate to lose time. You're in a company now, you have to find your right place, you have to decide what is it you want to be for this company. The thing that I like when I do A Space for Cinema with my production designers is that we try to make it as real as possible. In this case, we found this hotel on the top of a hill in the city of Varese, which was completely abandoned. And on the left side of the frame, you had a big window overlooking the valley. So this is a wall that we added. But the columns that you see, those are part of the structure of the building. Everything else is made by us. Is it the head? The spine? The look of Madame Blanc, Tilda, which is always so fantastic, and I, and Giulia Piersanti, the costume designer, we really thought of many icons in the world of dance in the 20th century, and one was, of course, Pina Bausch her long hair, but also her beautiful imperial attitude that's clearly something that is ominous, controlling, that has to deal with the idea of really making the other do what you want. But at the same time, clearly there is a very magnetic attraction between these two people, and there is a sort of twisted love happening there. I want to be this company's hands. I think in this moment is when uh, really the bond the siege between the two women. Susie Bunyan says the hand, and uh, you later discover in the narrative of the movie why the hand, but I would say the hand comes with the idea that a gesture can dictate an action for somebody. I, I would like not to say more because that would be a spoiler to something uh, quite disturbing. Hi. Hi. Dakota was incredible in the way she committed to make sure that uh, her Susie Banyan was a real dancer on screen. She spent time dancing when she was a teenager. We both agreed that the dance had to be a big commitment. So she started doing physical re exercise and training with a trainer in New York way before the movie even started pre-production. Higher! Higher! Here is a moment of transition that is very important, where all the witches are discussing about their future. They feel they are in peril of being extinguished. This scene was in the script written by the great Dave Kajanek, happening 25 minutes earlier than, than what is now in the movie. In combining this scene with the Dakota and Tilda to feel a new energy in the meeting with a girl that comes from outside, it was greater to show a moment of progression and a moment of regression together, tied and then something happens after, after this scene. Higher! 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 This is very telling of what I like about cinema. She jumps and go up in the air, finally, thanks to the editing. There is no special effect, no visual effect, no CGI. I believe we pull off pretty well the magic that is happening in that moment, that Madame Blanc make her jump up. And it's just a question of performance and framing and editing. And that makes me very happy. Sometimes I only need to be
be told twice. And I like the way she smirks here. 